My buddy Levi gave me a call and told me that some of his chickens were going missing again. And that means only one thing. It means that there is a predator on the loose on his farm hunting down these chickens. Can you show us where the predator is? Frederick, how you, oh, okay. I just found a bunch of feathers that look like it's from a bird that was attacked. Wait, wait what is that, what is that? What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Guys, the lemurs were sounding off, they're making noise. It's always a crazy day here at Jacob's Jungle and today's video is just that. My buddy Levi gave me a call and told me that some of his chickens were going missing again. He has several baby chicks that went missing and he has several big chickens that have been going missing over the past week and that means only one thing. It means that there is a predator on the loose on his farm hunting down these chickens. I went over there, I did an investigation, I hunted for the predator and of course I was successful in my mission. We caught the predator and that is all I'm going to tell you guys. It was absolutely insane So guys that is all I'm gonna reveal for today's video If you want to see me go to my buddy's farm save his chickens hunt this predator down Well guys you are in the right place Well guys I just got over here to my buddy Levi's farm and if you guys have been watching the channel You will know that probably about eight months ago about a year ago I was actually here because he was dealing with the very same problem he is having now He has a ton of chickens that produce eggs for him and they're his pets and before there was chickens disappearing babies adults were vanishing into thin air so I came we did an investigation and we found a giant about I think it was like an 11 foot python I really don't remember we catch so many pythons here in South Florida so we're back here at the chicken coop area sadly Levi is not here with me today because Levi's busy, he's working the farm, he has got a lot of stuff to do. But he has called me up, like I was telling you guys, and told me that he has had several baby chickens in the past week disappear. So that only means one thing. That means that there must be some sort of a predator back inside of this area. Hold on, we gotta actually close this up right here. We gotta close this up. There we go. The chickens have, wait, wait, there, there we go. If I had to guess, there is a couple of possibilities, a couple of predators that we could be dealing with. There could be another python on the farm, there could be raccoons, foxes, possums, well there's most definitely foxes and possums, coyotes. Guys, I am not entirely sure what predator is back here, but I am here today to basically do an assessment. As you can see, there's literally a jungle right here and the chicks have been locked up in the pen, but if there was a python or maybe even a raccoon, they could maybe even fit their paws through the wire. But we've got the mama with all the babies in there. Hey mama, how you doing? Can we see ya? Can I see you? Okay, she's a pretty afraid right now. But basically they're inside of here right now just to keep them safe because you can see, look at the little babies. They're so tiny right there. They're just, I mean, absolutely adorable. Mama's being protective over them. But there is a predator that is hunting them, stalking them, and there's some adult chickens right here. From what I know, they're pretty friendly. I mean, they're not wanting to get next to, hey, hey buddy, can you show us where the predator is? Is there a snake here? Is there a raccoon? Oh, hi, Frederick, how you, oh, okay. Guys, I want you to go right now and comment down below, what do you think is here attacking the chickens? Is it a possum, is it a raccoon, is it a fox, or is it another python? But basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'm walking through the rows of the banana trees and we're gonna be looking all in the bushes because any of the predators during the day are gonna wanna hide up in the bushes and there's different feeder stations for all the chickens all around the property and having this feeding station here, right here in the bushes could be a recipe for disaster because honestly, this is prime territory for an invasive python. Hiding up under these leaves, I mean, there really could be one right here and we would have no idea. I mean, this is literally a jungle here. As you can see, I'm walking through here and there, there could be a predator anywhere way up high in the trees. Let's come over here to the, to the tall grass. Yeah, this right here, this is the area that I wanna check out for a predator because this is crazy. This grass is literally like four feet tall. As you can see, I could easily hide and camouflage in here. And if I could hide and camouflage here, well, this is the safe ground, the safe area that a predator could wanna hang out in. And if you look at this, look at this, this grass is knocked down which means something could have walked back here. Now, I'm pretty sure my buddy Levi is not back here too often, so this could have been from some sort of large predator that's back in here. Guys, we're gonna go through the bushes right now. I'm not sure what we're gonna find in here. Let's look. Wait, wait, what is that, what is that? Nothing. 
I thought I thought I saw a python skin. I don't see that, but you can see that this is just really crazy in here. I mean, this is just some thick, tall stuff, and here we are on the backside here. This is a lot to go through here, so guys, I'm gonna hop off the camera. I'm gonna do a little bit of searching around back in here. I'm gonna dig through the bushes, and I'll be sure to let you know what I find. One hour later. Look at that, there's chickens in the bushes, and they're running away. They're running away from this area, which means there could be, there could be some sort of a predator going after them inside of here. Guys, I'm looking. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Look, these bushes are knocked down here. Is that feathers? Guys, there, I think there might be something in here. You can see that this area has been knocked down like there was some sort of an animal making a little nest in here. You can see the, the dirt is all disturbed, but, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh no, guys. This is not good at all. Look what I just found right here. I just found a bunch of feathers that look like it's from a bird that was attacked. You know, a lot of times when the birds are attacked, they'll drop all their feathers, and as you can see, the ground is all disturbed right here. Like this chicken was mauled here. As you can see, there's one feather. There's a bunch of feathers all around here. So guys, I think that this could possibly be another chicken that my friend Levi doesn't know about that could have potentially gotten eaten and attacked in the past day or so. I mean, these feathers right here are pretty fresh, and as you can see, they're all in the area, guys. I think we may be missing another animal, so guys, comment down below a prayer for another chicken. I'm gonna have to give Levi a call and let him know what I found. I'm actually gonna pull my phone out right now and I'm gonna take a picture of it, let's go. I took a picture of it, I'm gonna text that over to Levi because I think another chicken has been attacked and killed. So I've searched pretty much this entire back area. I've been here for over an hour now. I went through each and every crevice. I didn't see a whole lot, so now I'm gonna go check out the ch actual chicken coops themselves. If you guys watched the first video, you know where we found that python. I think it was underneath this trailer. And this trailer is looking prime time for snakes, as you can see. There is literally a forest growing around it. So guys, I'm gonna head on in and investigate. So the first place I'm going to investigate is up on this cage that's on top of the trailer. Now the wood decks are a little bit sketchy, guys. I might fall through. I really gotta feel the plank because I can literally feel them moving as I walk on them. Oh my gosh, look at this. Spiders galore right here. Let's kind of cut the spider webs. Oh my gosh, those are thick webs, guys. I'm not a big spider fan. Hold on, let's keep the door there. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go in. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, there's spiders all over me. The last time I was here, there was actually a mom chicken in here with her babies. Now, as you can see, I don't think there's any chickens living in here now. I mean, look at all these spider webs. This is some gnarly stuff, but look what we did find. Look at this, the two golden eggs right here. Let's grab these right here, guys. Look at this, fresh eggs that we can actually eat. So the more I hang out here and actually see the chickens and see the eggs, well, I. I'm thinking I should maybe get some chickens myself that I can set up. I'll get to raise the parents. I'll get to raise the babies. And then when they get older, they'll actually lay eggs that I can eat as well as feed to my other animals. Hey, ducky. Hey, buddy. Larry. Larry, have you seen a, a snake? Have you seen a raccoon? Larry. Larry. Come here, Larry. Guys, we found him. There's a four foot python and he's going, he's trying to break into the chicken coop. This must be how the chickens are, are getting attacked. Look at him, he just made his way in and that must be how they're getting out. He's trying to find a way in. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the craziest thing I've seen. This chicken is literally trying to break into the coop. This chicken is literally trying to break into the coop. He's looking for any sort of a void in here, any sort of a gap that he can get in. You can see that he's just going up and down the enclosure, testing every single little area. He doesn't seem to be too mean right now. Let's let's see, oh, hi buddy. How you doing, how you doing? Okay. Whoa! So the python literally just jumped off, went inside the chicken coop right now, and this is, this is literally what must be attacking them because the python has been attacking the animals at nighttime when they're in here. Don't bite me, buddy. This little snake right here is gonna be really mad. He's gonna be really mean. You can see he's trying to find a way out. Oh my gosh, he just must. He just sprayed everywhere. Come in, buddy. So we're gonna try to pull the python back in right now. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come from this angle. I'm gonna try to get him locked in on me. And look at this. The chickens at nighttime actually sleep in the crates and the python is able to easily navigate the crates and come in and actually eat them and attack them. Hey, hey, okay, we got him. We got him, guys. We caught the culprit. This python right here, I personally think is most definitely what has been attacking 
the chickens has been eating them. You can see that this python right here could eat any of the babies and any medium sized chickens. This is a gorgeous, about four foot invasive python. And for those of you that don't know, pythons are an invasive species that we have here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I just got sprayed, guys. So since this is an invasive species and there's up to 300,000 of them here in the Everglades, wrecking havoc on all of our native wildlife, eating raccoons, possums, panthers, and even alligators, these guys right here unfortunately do have to be humanely euthanized because they're such a bad invasive species and each python removed is actually saving hundreds of our native animals. This snake right here I'd say is about a year old and at this size he's already bigger than most of all of our native snakes and this guy right here has definitely eaten small birds, rats, possums, and maybe even baby alligators. So that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's hunt for the predator. I'm glad to say that we definitely had a successful mission here today. So guys, please make sure to go right now. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below what you thought of today's crazy catch. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you wanna see me catch more pythons. You wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. So guys, all you gotta do is go right now, hit that subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.